Hi everybody, this is Derek from EnableJapan.com. I am here with Mr. Suzuki. He is the Nagisan of Shinagawa Jinja. So today what we're going to do is we're going to go over etiquette for a shrine. We're going to make sure that you all feel comfortable to visit a shrine because you are coming to Japan, right? And you want to do it properly, but you don't want to give offense. So I have uh, Mr. Suzuki here who's going to help us or is going to help you uh, visit a shrine and do it the right way. There's two tips you need to keep in mind when walking towards a shrine. The first one is to stay out of the center flagstones that lead up towards the shrine. That's for the kami only, so stay on the left or the right. And at each gate, make sure you bow. Okay, so the first thing you do when you come to a shrine is that often you see the, the hand washing station, right? It's, it's a place where you go, you purify your hands before you go up to the, the shrine itself. Right handed only. You're going to back up a little, you're going to spill it to the ground, not back the You're going to come back and then do your right hand. And then one more time, back to your left hand. You're only going to spit with your left hand. So if you have any left, you're going to tilt it up, let it drain out into, into the little draining area. You're going to take it and you're going to put it right back. Like so. Okay, right now we're going to go up to the main shrine. This shows you exactly what to do. If one bow. You put your money in. 10 yen is about. 10 yen is okay. You can do more if you like. And one ring of the bell. まず2回深く yeah, Omakuji is kind of like drawing a fortune. You can do that right next to the shrine. There'll be a, a box labeled Omakuji in hiragana or sometimes katakana. You'll, you'll drop in your coins. Typically it's about 100 yen. You will draw your fortune and have a look at it. If you had like a bad luck one, you would tie it here and to leave your bad luck behind. But since I got good luck, I'm keeping this one. It's going right in my oh. wallet. Okay, when you go to a Shinto shrine, generally you're not visiting just like one shrine or one spot. There's actually many separate, smaller shrines on, in, inside the temple area. Right now we're looking at what I call the coin washing sh uh, station. What, what is the coin? What, what do I do here? Okay, you take your coin and you put it inside the basket. Okay. So you're going to take it with your right hand, you're going to take a scoop out, and, and pour it over here, you're going to stay out of the main one, you're going to go like into the, like the smaller splash over area. Okay. And then, you wash it. Ah. And then you're good, right? And what this does is that when you wash your money, your 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 coins grow and your your money comes back to you. It's a it's a good fortune thing. Which I tried to wash my credit card one time, but apparently that's not what we do here. Just coins, please. <laughs> Omamori are charms that are sold at shrines. Some are for protection for certain circumstances, such as the blue ones for sailors or the frog one for travelers. And this will be especially important for you, Japan travelers, because you're going to be traveling and you want to be safe, right? Okay. Okay. And now what you do with your omamori is that you're going to tie it to your bag. Okay. Like 
me. I already have a few, but as I said, you can never be you can never be too lucky. So you put it on your bag, and now you're safe to travel. Please be observant of all the, the things we just showed you. And also, it's it's just like a church or a, a mosque anywhere else. You want to be polite, be respectful, and have a good visit. So see us again on EnableJapan.com for more tips on your travels through Japan.